the best pendulum deck post ban list will be pure pendulum magicians so i'm gonna prep you guys up for it right now let's go because when joker and iris inevitably come back to three this deck will be on a tier of its own so if you guys are ready for this video let's get straight into it baby smash the subscribe button smash the like button and let's go i'm gonna fast forward through three fast replays here so you guys can really witness the greatness as you see here pen magicians are just absolutely insane joker will come back to three iris will come back to three and the consistency of this deck is just going to sky rocket you, you want a veiler you want a veiler i don't care bro a billion against to any hand trap nothing stops us bro nothing stops us look at this baby bring it on bro bring out all the hand traps i don't care celine summon pen summon let's go dagda tornado tornado pop iris do you have a response do you have a response my friend do you have a response no. okay he maybe does have a response he ash blossoms a double iris do we give a fuck hell nah we still have tornado dragon and our artifact site set up for next turn the whole point of this deck is you turbo on a bunch of cards to put up negates that protect the tornado dragon and the site sadly we couldn't get the pen graph and he availed earlier so he couldn't set up uh more interruptions but that's fine we're gonna save this pen call for next turn and we're still gonna obliterate him we're gonna selene effect apple for three so we have apple for three and scythe we're fine there is no card in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh to save my man right now except for cosmic cyclone which he main next what the hell who main next cosmic cyclone why are you doing this to me bro it gets rid of our scythe and you know what that's fine you know what it's not fine it, it's not fine i'm actually crying on the inside but we're playing the best deck so it is fine he pots he pots for a fucking impermanence on my appalooza are you are you are you are you kidding me bro are you kidding me all right maybe we got a little unlucky me i know i said at the beginning that we could put up a thousand billion negates through any hand trap but guess what? Cosmic Cycle is not a hand trap. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't count. Anyways, he's going to Imperm here, which is fine. Because he only has two cards left. So, what's he going to do with two cards left? He had to use four cards to stop our board. And now he has two cards left. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Great. He opens Fractal. My life's ruined. But it's fine. Because we don't care about Fractal. Why? Because who's? The what's the best deck? What's the best deck? Pendulum, baby. That's the best deck. And he goes, puts up Zeus. Our cards are gone. Oh, if only I didn't have a pendulum call that I save for next turn. Let's go, baby. Pen call all day. We're going to get open Iris. We're going to pendulum summon. We're going to get the most massive plus possible. I'm going to pen Oath, add Oath. Then I'm going to normal summon and get time star. And before some bomb comment saying something, you can't use Oath Dragon's effect, bro. You use pen call. Read pen call, bro. Anyways, also, pen best deck. That's about it. I put up my own Zeus, a little taste of his own medicine. He passes Joker. The rest is history. He had four hand traps with Cosmic Cyclone Fractal. That still ain't enough for the best deck, baby. That's it. The only hand trap that matters is none of them. Because we're the best deck. And that's it. I attack for game. Now I'm going to fast forward. We have three replays. I'm just going to fast forward all of it. I want you guys to actually listen to what I have to say here. And that's that post ban list. Look at my hand here. That Sorcerer is a Joker. That Sorcerer is a Joker. Like, I don't think you guys understand the consistency of having Joker at three. What that does for this deck. Stratos came back. Why can't Joker come back? And it will come back. Joker to three would do so good for Pendulum Magicians. It won't do good for Endymion. It won't do good for other versions of Pendulums. But for Pendulum Magicians, it'll do fantastic. We get Impermed and Ashed. That's fine. I Souls. I try and bait him. I recognize that my time gaze is banished. I'm like, yeah, we lose. That's fine. He has one card left, but we lose. Revolt's so powerful. Or like We have four cards to one. And that Revolt's going to give him like five cards at the end of the day. Anyways, we're gonna go to game three now. All is well in the hood still. We ain't gonna lose. We go dual some we go dual alliance and search for think star pen got to get harmonizing. And we get drooled. I'm an absolute idiot. I should, probably should not have done that because I could have got those alliance to get the, the trap card. And we're just gonna fast forward. And by fast forward, I mean I'm gonna go cry in my bed right now. But the pen god doesn't cry. So by cry, I mean I'm actually gonna cry because he just gambled my Dagda and we lost. I'm gonna have to wear shades now because if I wear shades, you guys can't see my, my tears. And that's the real reason I wear shades. I'm actually crying because I miss Electromite so much. We lose match one. 
But guess what? I don't actually wear tears when I wear my shades. I actually gain fucking superpowers. So now I'm going to showcase you guys the other two replays. I didn't want to... I don't understand we lost this. But it happens sometimes. We got a little unlucky. And to be honest with you, I was actually extremely greedy. He drew Valor for turn. All I had to do was use Duelist Alliance to search Star Pengraph, or Time Pengraph. Time Pengraph would have popped Rescue Cat. And he had no follow-up, no play. And the duel was over. But my greediness cost me the entire match. So don't be greedy. Be a pen god. Uh, that made no sense because the pen god is greedy. Now I'm going to show you guys another replay. We're going to fast forward the whole way through. Because it's going to showcase how powerful the Pendulum Graphs are. I'm running Pendulum Graph Turbo here. My, I get Ash on the pen call. I'm like, that's fine. I'm going to have Pen Graph Turbo the whole day. Star Pen Graph and Time Pen Graph. When they're both in the field, it's, it's, it's so hard to lose. Because they keep add. You basically get a free pop every single turn. It's like Phoenix Enforcer before it was legal. It's like Pen Best deck. It's just a fact. I end up popping. Uh, he can't use the Counter Trap there. I pop. I get a free poison. I scale poison. He negates that. Poison effect will still trigger. Pop the Zombie World. Like, all this happened from just one, one card. The pen graphs recycling each other every turn is just insane. I let him go off a little here and I just don't care about it. I get Harmo, he pops my, I'm like, that's fine. Harmo, I go Needle Fiper after he with Karos. I'm like, this is fine. It's all good in the hood, but I get hit with Rivalry and now I'm actually crying. But it's fine because how am I going to come back? I lost match one. I lost game one of match two. How am I going to come back and persevere from this scenario? Well, maybe Double Wisdom will help that out. I save pen call for the following turn. I understand he's playing a trap deck. So I want to put up a few negates that's not sight. I'm going to put up a Savage Dragon or a Tornado, a Time Pen Graph, an Appaloosa, all a bunch of negates. Just showcasing the actual power of Pendulums. And I'm sure you guys already know exactly how powerful this is. But I'm putting up Appaloosa, Savage. I'm going to put up a Tornado, pop Double Iris, get Pen Graph, search it, etc, etc. Electra could have just done that for me, but you know, I guess I'll suffice with the Tornado. He's going there. I go Desires. He's, I could have activated the Star Pen Graph to search, but I was, I, I felt so safe with Red Reboot. I didn't bother to do it yet. I should have done it. I would, the duel would have been over that turn, but that's fine. I go Iris here to search the Pen Graph by popping itself. Chrono will do double damage now. Star Trigger, and just like turn game one, or game, yeah, game, Star Pen Graph and Time Pen Graph, they are going to get me so much plus. I do a cool play. Wisdom could resolve with performance piles on the scale. Poison, double pop, easy. Rivalry, you're trash. Everything zombie, search wisdom, the duel's over, pen best deck, what could I say? There's really nothing he can do. Now, I'm going to have to see this a little clearer, and all I see is just dubs. It's really all I see. Dubs of the best deck. Rivalry, no problem. I have time start. I'm not even activating my red reboot. The red reboot's just sticking in my hand. The duel's over. I have another replay, but it's not interesting because I just clap him. So, I don't want you guys to see an actual genocide. Uh, I don't want to get flagged on YouTube. So, I'm not going to showcase the third match. Instead, I'm going to showcase you guys... The absolutely insane deck profile. As I said, this is the absolutely insane deck profile for this format. As you guys see, there's a Joker there. This Joker will come to three, and this Iris will come to three. When that happens, when that happens, I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. We're going to play a different style of Pendulums. We're actually going to remove two Magician Souls, two Perform by Pendulum Sorcerers, and we're going to add an Upstart Goblin. We're going to take out those four for two Jokers and one Iris and an Upstart. Why? We want to open the Joker as much as possible. And this, we only need one performer by Pendulum Sorcerer because we could switch with Duelist Alliance when we need to. And it'll keep getting the Joker. We can also keep all three Sorcerers if we want to. We can remove two Souls, souls and one Oath. Something along those lines. The fact that we have Joker, it, I can't stress enough how consistent that makes this deck to ensure you always get Harmo, Wisdom, everything. The deck's actually insane. As far as the best Pendulum deck after post boundless, it will be. Because with Iris at 3 and Joker at 3, this deck's absolutely insane. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to see more greatness on Pendulums, make sure to go check out the links down below. Check out all four of them. I'm supplying amazing coaching for limited time only on Metafi down below. Patreon, I'm going to be posting a discussion video on this deck right now. Check out the beautiful playmats on TripGaming.com where we have beautiful Toon Electromite mats and Servant mats. Only two left of each of them before we bring in new stock, baby! I'm excited for that. So as soon as those two mats are, uh, just four mats in total left, and I'm going to be getting new mats. Anyways, hope you're going to enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace! Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the end of the video. Thank you all for getting this far and watching the entire video. So I'm going to reward every single one of you that's got this far. I want everyone right now, if there's any video you can think of on the top of your head that you want to watch, any deck you want to see 
built on that we talk about i want you guys to comment down below right now exactly what videos you guys want to see and i'm going to reward you i'm going to pick out some of the ones that i like the most and i'll make a video on them in the next two weeks there's two weeks until the ban list so comment down below what dice you guys want to see we're going to be doing this at the end of the, the, the next two weeks for every video i hope you guys have a good day make sure to drink some water stay hydrated and i'll see you guys in the next video peace